Hi, I'm Jim from AbleNet. Today, I'm going to show you how to create switch recipes in iOS. Recipes are a feature of switch control that allow a user to customize how their switches interact with the iPad. They allow you to pre-configure a set of actions that can be assigned to switches to perform specific tasks or actions on the iPad. Start by pairing your switch to the device if it isn't already connected. Next, go to the Settings app, Accessibility, Switch Control. On this screen, look for switches. If using the blue 2, the number shown here should be 2, one for each switch top. If the number shown here is 0, follow these steps. Make sure blue 2 is turned on. Tap Switches. Add new switch, external, then tap the blue switch top on blue 2. You will be prompted to give the switch a name. I'll use blue. Tap select item. This can be changed later. Repeat this process for the yellow switch. To turn pages using Blue 2, start by pairing your switch to the device if it isn't already connected. Go to the Settings app, then Accessibility, then Switch Control. Switch Control should be off. If Switch Control is on, the recipe will not work correctly. Select Recipes. Under Recipes, select Turn Pages. You will notice that both of your switches were automatically assigned to right to left swipe and left to right swipe. Make sure timeout is turned off. At the top of the screen, select recipes to go back to the main recipes menu. Select launch recipe, then select turn pages. At the top of the screen, select recipes to go back to the main recipes menu, then back again to switch control. Turn switch control on. When switch control turns on, you will see a message appear in the middle of your device that says your switches are configured to use the Turn Pages recipe. Open the Books app. Select a book the user would like to read. When the user activates the yellow switch on Blue 2, the page will turn backwards. When the user activates the blue switch top on Blue 2, the page will turn forward. Once finished with the ebook, you can turn the recipe off by going to the Settings app, then Accessibility, switch control, and turn switch control off. You must also go to recipes, launch recipe, and change this back to none. Orient the device in the direction the user will be using it. This is important because we will be marking a specific location on the screen for the switch control recipe. On the device, Open the app you are going to use to play your music or video. Select your media so that the controls appear on the screen. Using a small piece of the sticky note, mark on the screen where the skip track forward button is located. If you wanted to use play pause or skip track backwards, you could mark those instead. Exit out of the music app. Make sure to leave your sticky note on the screen of the device. Next, go to the settings app Accessibility, Switch Control. Switch Control should be off. If Switch Control is on, the recipe will not work correctly. Select Recipes. Under Recipes, select Create New Recipe. Name your recipe Skip Track Forward. If using the Blue 2, you may need to activate the keyboard button on the side of Blue 2 to get the on-screen keyboard to appear. Select Assign a Switch. If using Blue 2, choose Blue. Select Custom Gesture. You will be brought to a screen with instructions. If your sticky note is on top of the play stop bar at the bottom of the screen, you will need to tap Hide Controls before creating the custom gesture. Tap on your sticky note marker, then select Save in the upper right hand corner of the screen. 
If you chose to hide the controls, you will have to wait for them to come back before you can tap save. You can now remove the sticky notes. Tap Assign a Switch, then New Recipe. You will now see under Switches that Blue has been assigned Custom Gesture. Make sure Time Out is off. At the top of the screen, select Recipes to go back to the main Recipes menu. Select Launch Recipe. Select Skip Track Forward. At the top of the screen, select Recipes to go back to the main Recipes menu. Then Switch Control to go back to the main Switch Control menu. Turn Switch Control on. When Switch Control turns on, you will see a message appear in the middle of your device that says your switches are configured to use the Skip Track Forward recipe. On the device, open the Media app. Make sure the device is in the same orientation as it was when you placed your sticky note marker on the screen. In our example, we are going to make sure the music is playing before giving the device to the user. They will only be able to change the song playing. When the user activates the blue switch top on Blue 2, the app will skip to the next song. Once finished with the Media app, you can turn the recipe off by going to the Settings app, then Accessibility, Switch Control, and turn Switch Control off. You must also go to Recipes, Launch Recipe, and change this back to None. Orient the device in the direction the user will be using it. This is important because we will be marking specific locations on the screen for the switch recipe. Open the app you are going to use for cause and effect. For our example, we are using GarageBand. Once you select the drums, you will be presented with a full drum set. Place small pieces of the sticky note on three different drums. You can select less or more than three drums to mark. Make sure you leave your sticky note markers on the screen of the device. Exit out of GarageBand. Go to the Settings app, Accessibility, Switch Control. Make sure Switch Control is off. If Switch Control is on, the recipe will not work correctly. Select Recipes. Under Recipes, select Create New Recipe. Name your recipe. If using Blue 2, you may need to activate the keyboard button on the side of Blue 2 to get the on-screen keyboard to appear. I'll name the recipe Drum Solo. Select Assign a Switch. If using Blue 2, choose Blue. Select Custom Gesture. You will be brought to a screen with instructions. Here we are going to record the gesture we want assigned to the blue switch top. Quickly tap all of your sticky note markers multiple times then select Save in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Tapping your sticky note markers needs to be done quickly because when the user activates their switch, it will play your drums back in the same sequence they were recorded in. You will see under Switches that Blue has been assigned a custom gesture. Make sure Time Out is turned off. At the top of the screen, Select Recipes to go back to the main Recipes menu. Select Launch Recipe. Select Drum Solo. At the top of the screen, select Recipes. You can now remove the sticky notes. Then Switch Control to go back to the main Switch Control menu. Turn Switch Control on. When Switch Control turns on, you will see a message appear in the middle of your device that says your switches are configured to use the Drum Solo recipe. On the device, open the GarageBand app. Make sure the device is in the same orientation as it was when you placed your sticky note marker on the screen. When the user activates the blue switch top on Blue 2, the Drum Solo will play. Once finished with the GarageBand app, you can turn the recipe off by going to the Settings app, Accessibility, Switch Control, and turning Switch Control off. You must also go to Recipes, Launch Recipe, and change this back to None. For more great resources and ideas on how to use your AbleNet technology, go to www.ablenetinc.com 
and click on the help link at the top of the page.